Hi there, it's uh, Duncan, the developer of the OC USB mapper plugin for open cockpits. I just wanted to do a quick video on how to um, set up your CDUs correctly for open cockpits. Um, so you basically go to the my plugin on explain.org and download the plugin and the two scripts to run the CDUs. So this is the plugin here and the two scripts to run it on the Zibo modder here. So once you've done that, they should be sitting in your downloads folder. So first you've got to install the plugin, which is just copying this folder, OCU, BS, OCU USB mapper into the plugins folder of X-Plane. Uh, here. So I basically just copied this folder from here and put it in here, which is an explain 11 resources plugins. Oof. And once you've done that, you've also got to put these two X Lewis scripts, the captain CDU and first officer CDU, into the scripts folder inside um, the Zibo mod. So, Basically, so this is the Zibo mod here. The Boeing 737-800X plugins, X Lua scripts, and these are all the scripts. So these ones here come as standard with the Zibo mod, and I've just put in the CDU captain's script and the CDU first officer script. So that, that's them over here. So it's basically that's just been copied. And that's been copied. So it's the folder you're copying, not the file inside it. So when, when you're finished, it should look like that. It's the folder name and then the Lua scripts inside with exactly the same name, dot Lua. So you don't have to worry about what's inside those. Okay, once, once you've done that, I normally create a, a couple of folders called CDU0 and CDU1. Um, and inside CDU0 and CDU1, you want to put in the CDU client.jar, which is the screen that you see inside the um, open cockpit CDU. Um, and where did I get this file from? When you downloaded it, sorry, inside OC USB mapper there's a, a folder called Java Client and I just copied it from there. Anyway, um, to be able to run the um, the clients Ugh. to be able to run these you've got to make sure Java's installed if it's not installed you won't see this icon here so in, in your apps and features you should see Java Java 8 update 261.64 bit it's pretty important. It's not necessary, but it's good to, to install the 64-bit version. Okay. Now, in uh, Xplane, you've you've got a folder called Xplane 11 Output Preferences, and when you run OC USB Mapper, it creates a preference file called OC USB Mapper dot Preferences. Now when you edit that file, the stuff that relates to your CDUs is up the top here. And basically the only thing you, you, you might be changing is IP1 or IP2. So this is the IP address of the first CDU, Captain CDU. This is the IP address of the first officer's CDU. Now if you're, only, if you're running the CDU software on this computer rather than a remote one you don't need to change anything because 127001 defaults to 
the computer that you're on. So I'm actually running everything on the same computer at the moment, but um, if we pretend that I'm not, what I would do is um, you run the client, and this is the screen for it, and this is the screen for the other one. So this is the captain's, sorry, this is the captain's, this is the um, first officer. And you'll notice that up the top here, I've got the IP address and the port number. Okay, so the first thing you want to do if you're running two CDUs, if you're running one CDU, you don't even need to worry about this, but if you're running two CDUs, you want to, um, first of all, click on this, this window so it's active and press F12 which saves this configuration file here and then you want to click on the first officer and press F12 and it will save the configuration here so so once these files are saved doesn't like having two identical ones open going to the same port right basically on the first officer one you just got to go in here and edit this port number so it's 3031 and just save that okay and then you'll see because you'll notice that this one this port here is 49031 so it expects the second one to have 49031 so now that's changed And now that they're open, you can see here's the first IP address. So like if this was another computer, I would just type in here. If I was running the screens on a remote computer, I would then just put in 192.168.1.105. And since the other one's the same, I'll put that there. So now the, if this was another computer, if now got the IP address, we're sending the first, the captain's one to port 49030 and the first offer to 49031. So you save that. And we and if you remember, we've changed the properties in here so that this one is four nine zero three one, which is the first officer, and this one didn't need changing at all because it defaults to four nine zero three zero. Now that you've got these screens running, um, there's a few features on here that people probably don't know about is. When the screen's active, if you press the F11 key, it gets rid of the border. So normally you put the screen inside the CDU, uh, you maximize it over here, and then you press F11 to get rid of the border. And then there's a few other options, so if it's too narrow, you can use the left and right arrow keys to make it wider. Or smaller and if if say you don't like the alignment of uh, line 3 it's not showing up with uh, LSK2 or something you can use up and down arrow to select which line you want to move and then you use the plus or minus on the number keypad to move that line up or down and when you're happy with where it is you press F12 to save the screen so 
next time you out next time you open the um, Java client, it remembers the layout of the screen. Um, anyway, once you've done that, um, everything should be all right. And then, so like, there's what. These are what the screens look like when they normally start. They've got the instructions, and then when if you start explain it, in my case it's already running. As soon as explain loads, this information on the screen here will come up in the Java clients. But um, if it, if they haven't shown up, all you do is go into the plugins menu, OC USB mapper, and then you choose reload CDU display. And you'll see there it's got the um, captains, what's showing in the captains, and this is what's showing in the first officer. Uh, so um, it's not a, it's a bit of a disjointed uh, video, but that's essentially how you do it. I hope it clears up things for people. See so, yeah. ya.